Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Just Denise. It's me, Courtney Denise, and today we are doing some goddess box braids. So if you would like to see how I achieve this look, please continue to watch. Starting off, I'm going to be using my modified comb that I made, as well as defining my parts and my ponytail areas with shining jam. So I just want to start off before we really get into the nitty gritty of this video. This video is an example of how to do goddess box braids. I show you how to achieve goddess box braids or gypsy bohemian box braids. This isn't a specific video on how to attach box braids or how to necessarily braid. I do have other videos for that that I will link down in the description box, but I see a lot of people commenting that on some of my videos. So I just wanted to let you know today we will be achieving goddess box braids and I will be giving you a tutorial on how to achieve those box braids. Now starting off, I do like to make sure my parts are extra crispy. To me, that makes or breaks braids, that in the neatness of the braid. So I do take my time with parting and like I'm going to show you, I know that my part's not straight. So what I do is I start the part off and then I take the sign and jam and I define that part. I do like to get all the parts in my section even before I start braiding. That way the areas are already prepped and I also know that I already have a clean slate for all of my braids. So continue to watch it and you'll see what I mean. And this is what I meant. So all four of my braids in this row are already sectioned out. They are laying in between the braids below them. That way it's a bricked effect. So your braids are fuller and things of that sort. So let's start braiding. So starting off, I do comb through the area that I'm about to braid to make sure the braid is smooth and you know you get to grip all of that so I attach the braid again this is not specifically on how to braid but I will attach a video to show you but once you braid start your braid and you braid down I don't know about an inch you're gonna add your curly hair of choice I do not remember off the top of my head the curl but I'll show you all but right there I'm showing you where you put the hair you put it with a piece of it with the middle piece of hair and the right side of the hair and then you're gonna braid down so you're basically feeding the curly hair in once you braid down just a little bit you're gonna take a piece of that curly hair I like to take the longest piece and the piece that's not cut bluntly because you're cutting that curly hair in half when you get it out the packet so you're going to take that you're going to take some shiny jam and put it on the ends of your hair or your client's hair as needed as well as the curly hair you're going to comb it out to make sure that braid is going to be nice and smooth and clean and then you're going to continue to braid and add hair as you please
Now, I know some braiders use nail glue at the end of their braids to seal it. I do not. I just take a thin piece of hair and I wrap it around and I tie several knots. I'm sorry, y'all can hear Ray Ray in the background. But I tie several knots around the braids to ensure that they won't come out. And then, unlike other people as well with Goddess Box braids, I do dip my braids and I will show you how I achieve that. So, again, I tie a knot and I dip my braids to seal the ends. And then I'm taking this good old dandy razor and I'm cutting off the extra at the end, you know, those little scraggly pieces of hair. So again, I will show you all again how to do it, but this is the finished look, meaning, you know, what we're achieving with the feathered ends. So again, you're braiding it, adding the jam, combing it out, attaching the braids, and you're feeding in that curly hair. And leave one side a little longer than the other. I do do that on purpose. That way I can leave just that one curl out go ahead baby i'm sorry y'all i got kids <laughs> you so again you leave one piece a little longer than the other typically the side that's not the blunt side okay start y'all <clears throat> something's in my throat and you pull that piece out and leave it so you know it all just flows naturally make sure your braids are neat a lot of people ask me how do I braid so neat and I just think it's about taking your time of course I'm a quick braider but I've been braiding since I was like 12 years old take your time your comb is your best friend comb out braids comb out the hair that's going into the braids because if the hair is nappy your braids gonna look nappy and make sure your parts are nice and crispy like look at my parts look at my parts like come on like neatness is everything if your parts are neat if your little ponies are neat your ponytail areas are neat your braids are going to be neat as long as you take your time and you see that i had to take some of my braid down and start over don't be afraid to do that perfect does not exist <laughs> now I will demonstrate numerous times on how to achieve goddess box braids I hope you all enjoy and please stay to the end to see the final look Fuck up while you're talking to me This shit been off since around New Year's Eve You made it clear that you wanted to leave You wanted to breathe right Well then that's the end of discussion I wanna live life without your interruption I ask you what love is, you ain't saying nothing And that's what you show me I let you hurt me Damn, it murdered me And I almost let you get away with it for free your biggest loss, losing this love for a lifetime. Say that you can woo me again, but you're gonna have to catch me when I'm real high or something. Maybe I'm bugging. Damn, I'm probably capping, cause you know every time I see you, we do all the things that we say. We ain't gonna let happen, and that's when you text me, I pull up. In the all black Lamborghini truck, be in the backseat making love. We can't fight as long as we make up. When you hear this, better hit me up. Shit. I know I sound indecisive, I love you but hate you like why we divided Yeah, why you got me all alone when you could be here You did everything that I told you I feared Don't treat me like I was nothing to you Let me find out about another bitch, I might you lose my cool I might go out my way to do something to hurt you Like you did me, babe You gon' feel this rough like I had to feel this pain you say that I'm crazy, but you're the reason I'm this way yeah, yeah, yeah. When you did everything I feel You did everything I feel You did everything I feel You did, you did Maybe I'm overreacting, you know I'm with the dramatics, it's real 
locked into your bad habits You can never be wrong, so I'll let you have it Say I need up until you fuck me up Communication is a form of love I would never have you out here looking dumb Shit, I really thought that you were the one Time to let go of our memories Erase that chemistry All that history All that's history I'll forget about you eventually Fall back eventually Please call me back eventually Fuck you for fucking with me mentally now, once I'm done with all the braids, I go in with my shears and I clean them up the best that I can, especially since we're not dipping a lot of the hair. Now, since I didn't add the curls to the end of the hair, what I did was I separated the curls from the ends and I only dipped the straight ends. So again, separate the curl. Do not dip your curly hair in hot water, okay? <laughs> The of the United States. I don't want to play with you. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Go back that way. <laughs> you see? <laughs> you better I'll deliver make... for the people. <laughs> you see me? <laughs> Y'all be right. I'm together, honey. <laughs> you like the girl? Yes, I love them. Turn around and say, You're about to be working. And I say, I'm done. I'm done. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We almost at 20K.